Hello everyone, welcome back to the Trash Talk channel. Uh, we are in the thick of fantasy basketball draft season, and I actually have a draft tonight. I've got a bunch of drafts this weekend, and I'll record those for you. But today, I want to talk to you about some collusion that's been going on in a league that I recorded and showed you guys. Um, it's my $500 auction, and uh, we've had two guys who've been arguing here and um, it looks like they've colluded. So um, let's go through um, what happened. So as you guys know, I play in some pretty high stakes leagues. Um, this is a $500 one. And in these high stakes leagues, um, I know most of the guys. We've been playing for a few years. Like I know the commissioner. Uh, he's very trustworthy. He always pays out. Um, I know there's some other scandal going on where somebody stole a whole bunch of money. I don't know too much about that one. Just um just some of the peripheries, but in this league, uh, let me show you guys. So this is it's just a regular 12-team league, and as you can see, this trade was vetoed three times. Uh, the trade was Ball, Damian Lillard, and Miles Turner, and Melton for Embiid, Harris, Tobias Harris, and Bradley Beal. Uh, this trade went through on October 16 yesterday, so that was after we already got the news that Embiid wasn't going to be playing back-to-backs, which has actually dropped his value. He's going in the second round now instead of the first round. Um, so managers in the league saw this as an unfair trade and they vetoed it. Now, I understand that uh, a lot of people, and I actually agree with this, that a lot of people think that um, a trade should only be vetoed if it's collusion. And I agree, so I didn't veto this trade. I thought it was fair enough that if these guys are, um, they have a build in mind, uh, maybe, you know, maybe they... They like the trade and they both agreed to it and that's it. So it got vetoed the first time. And then um, both managers who got vetoed went crazy on the chats. They they were sending essays uh, talking about how um, this is unfair. This is not how you should have a $500 entry league uh, decide whether trades go through. It should be commissioner. Um, and five people just kept vetoing it. I assume it wasn't the two guys involved in the trade. It was not me. So it was you know, nine of the other or five of the other nine guys. And um, one of them threatened to leave the league if um, if we didn't let the trade through. So they tried it one more time and got vetoed again today. Um, and uh, apparently this just happened. So before I started recording, the, these guys, uh, they had team names. Now they're inactive and inactive too. So it looks like both of them left the league at the same time. Um, based on the chat, and I can show you guys a screenshot of some of it, but based on the chat, um, it seems to me like it was one person who was running two accounts and... Um, and decided to draft two teams and try and trade um, see, like seemingly fair trade, but slightly lopsided um, to themselves. And, you know, these sharp managers in this league, we figured it out, or I wasn't involved. They figured it out and um, they vetoed it. I was chatting with the commissioner and he said in one of his other leagues, a $250 league, um, one of the managers who was involved in, in this one, in this $500 league, was also made a trade soon after the draft in, in this other league. I, I got it pulled up over here. Um, it was Rudy Gobert, um, Herb Jones, and Clint Capella for Kaminga, Jaden McDaniels, and Derek White. It doesn't seem too lopsided, and I don't really see much of an issue with it, but it apparently it happened like right after the draft, and in, in terms of auction value... Uh, one team made out like a bandit. So, um, yeah, these guys decided to drop out of the league. They both paid $500, so I don't really understand um, how they make out in this situation because um, if they're caught cheating in the other league, that's another $250 each. That's $1,500 that they're just out um, before the season even starts. Um, and now we actually have two open spots in a league that is already paid for. So we're looking for some managers. If you guys are interested in joining um, a $500 league for free, uh, you should um, comment on this video. And we are going to be looking for managers. Um, uh, Elias, the commissioner, is also looking for somebody to join a $500 league, um, a 16-team auction draft drafting. I think it's tomorrow night, Friday night. Um, I don't know the time. 
um, but I can post that in the in the um, in the description. And yeah, this was pretty crazy. Um, the the chat was blown up yesterday and today talking about this, and they both left basically at the same time. So uh, I undoubtedly think this was collusion. Um, this is why we have vetoes, I guess. And um, you guys let me know down in the comments if you think this was collusion or if it was just two guys getting super angry over um, a veto. And um, let me know if you think there's a way to um, prevent this in the future. Both of these guys are new to the commissioner's leagues. So um, obviously they won't be playing again. But um, yeah, this was uh, pretty wild. All right, I'll get you guys some drafts coming up pretty soon. Talk to you later.